So what do you think of when you hear the word attitude? Do you think of the typical moody teenager who needs a reality check or maybe someone who has a strong viewpoint about a certain topic? Well, actually, attitudes are a culmination of all of these things plus more. So an attitude is a learned tendency. We can equate both of these words. It's a learned tendency to evaluate things in a certain way. So either people, issues, objects, or events. And we can break up attitude into three components. So the first is the affective component. It's the affective or the emotional component. The second is the behavioral component. And the last is the cognitive component. So together, these help us understand attitudes. Now before we begin, we have to first know how to form an attitude. So in order to form an attitude, we must be able to experience or observe something. And as a result of that experience or observation, we're going to form some sort of attitude. So in the first component, the affective component, we may feel or have certain emotions towards a subject or a topic or an object. And these feelings or emotions are what make up the affective component. So in this case, we could say, I am scared of spiders. So the word scared indicates a feeling or emotion, which is an attitude towards spiders. In the second component, the behavioral component, we're going to act or behave a certain way towards a certain topic or subject or an object. So here we could say, I will avoid spiders and scream if I see one. So the words avoid and scream indicate a certain attitude, a behavioral attitude towards spiders. And in the last component, the cognitive component, we were going to form some sort of belief. Or we may have knowledge about an object or a subject that's going to form our attitude. So here we could say, I believe spiders are dangerous. So we believe they're dangerous because we've probably experienced or observed something that caused us to believe that spiders are dangerous. So that's the cognitive component. And all together, these components form the ABC model of attitudes.